Hello, I'm Tim Crow. Welcome to Norwich City Central. What's going on, Lewis? Norwich City Central, and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, only a week now till the Premier League season begins. Cannot wait to be going to Liverpool um, for the first game of the season. And yeah, this is going to be a Premier League prediction video, predicting where each of the 20 teams are going to finish by the end of the season. And yeah, hopefully I don't make too much of a mug of myself, and these are decent predictions. There's a few controversial picks, let's say that. Um, I'm always slightly sceptical about doing a prediction video because sometimes you, you, you might disagree where your team's placed. For example, I've seen many predictions where Norris City have been put into the bottom three without any real reason um, and it's slightly infuriating. But yeah, this is going to be my Premier League prediction video. I hope you do enjoy and yeah, please don't be offended uh, where I rank your team. But let's start. 20th position and before I start, obviously last season Huddersfield were miles off uh, safety, Fulham as well. When Norwich City got relegated, Aston Villa, who finished bottom with miles off safety. I do think it's going to be a lot more closer this season and it's going to be a lot more exciting in the relegation battle. But in 20th, I've got Brighton um, and then 19th and 18th, I've got Newcastle and Sheffield United. So Brighton finishing bottom. I do like Graham Potter. I think he's a good manager, but I look at their transfers so far. There's only a week to go to the transfer window shuts. And yeah, they haven't done great transfer business. Obviously, losing Anthony Knockhart is a key blow for Brighton. And yeah, I don't think they've got a good enough squad to survive. 19th, Newcastle. Yet again, they've got a poor squad. Rafa Benitez was doing wonders at Newcastle, keeping them up. Um, and yeah, Mike Ashley's a terrible owner. And I just look at their squad. It's really poor, isn't it? Especially losing Iose Perez. And 18th position, I've gone to Sheffield United. I like Sheffield United. They've got a good manager. There was a bit of rivalry last season, but... They've got a good manager. Chris Wilder's a good manager. They've got a really good defence. There's a real togetherness like there is at Norwich. Um, but I've not been convinced by their transfer business so far. Callum Robson for £10 million, uh, And then their Bournemouth striker for around £10 million as well. I think they're going to be similar to Cardiff this season. I think they're going to show a lot of heart, a lot of determination. But I think they might just fall short. 17th, I've gone with Watford. They had a poor end to the season last season. And not the best business. Gerald Delafay is a cracking player. But... As I said, they they ended the season terribly and I kind of expect that kind of form to continue into next season. I don't think they're going to do as well as they did last season in which they finished 11th. Aston Villa in 16th. Aston Villa is an interesting one and probably really uh, Aston Villa is a really unpredictable team to pick. They could do a Fulham and be relegated or with the amount of money they've spent, they could, they're probably ambitions of being, to, being in the top 10. But uh, without all the transfers Aston Villa have made, I think they would have gone down. Their squad is quite poor. Um, and losing the likes of Tammy uh, Abraham is a big blow for Aston Villa. But I do like a few of their signings. I think Wesley could potentially be an impact. Um, yeah, and, and Tyrone Mings coming back to Aston Villa is important. So I do like a few of their signings. But they've brought so many in. And it, you know it's going to take time to gel. And most of those signings aren't going to work out. It could be another Fulham 2.0. But I think this Aston Villa will have enough. And they've got a very talented midfield anyway. Uh, 15th, Burnley. I like Jay Rodriguez um, and Turf Moor. Not really the fortress it was in, in previous seasons. 14th, Bournemouth. Uh, Kelly's a good signing. Uh, they've got a decent team and a decent, decent manager. I do like Bournemouth. Now, I've gone with Norwich in 13th. A lot of people have predicted Norwich City to go down. Um, the bookies have predicted us to go down, but that's not the story, is it? I don't think. Of course, we could go down, but I think for really 19th. We play a great brand of football. There's a real togetherness and confidence in the dressing room. Um, and just Norris City, Daniel Farker were playing attractive football. And we've done really good business in the transfer window with limited resources. Um, the likes of Patrick Roberts on loan, Ralph Fairman on loan, and Josip Juramic and Sam Byron are also good backup options. And with limited resources, we're doing really well. Money doesn't guarantee success. Um, and look, the likes of Max Aaron's Buendia, if clubs wanted to sign them, they'd be worth 15, 20 million, potentially even more. But the fact they're at our club and we've recruited really well and really cheap is a good thing. And I think Norwich City will be absolutely fine this next season. Um, I'm just surprised by, or I'm not actually surprised by the amount of people who've predicted us to be relegated. But I just think if, if you follow if you, if you follow Norwich, I think there's more, more than the meets there are, and I think we will be okay. 12th, Crystal Palace. I do, I do think it depends on Zaha if they lose him. And don't replace him. They could possibly drop down a few places and potentially even more. But they've got a good team. I expect them to be fine next season. And 11th, Southampton. Good manager uh, and a good team as well. Ralph has done a really good job at Southampton. Now let's move into the top 10. I've gone to 10th to 8th. And you're going to be surprised by who I've put 10th. Uh, who I've put 8th, sorry. 10th, West Ham. 9th, Everton. And 8th, Manchester United. So West Ham in 10th. Pellegrini did a good job at West Ham last season. I expect them to finish around mid-table. 
Um, they made a couple of decent signings and I think West Ham finishing 10th is quite a realistic expectation for their fan base. Ninth, Everton. I do like Marco Silva. I do like the attacking style of football he brings to the Premier League. However, I think last season it's quite clear that defensively they, they, they weren't great and looking at the transfer business they've done, I don't think they've particularly improved defensively and I think they're probably leave too many goals to in kind of in, in their attempts to try and get a top six finish. I've gone Everton in ninth and eighth, Manchester United. A lot of Manchester United fans probably won't be pleased with that, but I look at the Manchester United players towards the end of last season and they didn't want to play for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. They had some terrible results towards the end of the season, including a 2-0 loss to Cardiff at home. And I just look at that, I look at their squad and I don't think that there's that togetherness and confidence that the Manchester United squads have had in previous campaigns. And uh, I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is probably not going to last the season. Um, I just don't think it's going to go very well for him at Manchester United. I look at their business as well. Aaron Rambasak is a good right back, um, but you know Manchester United. This was meant to be the season they rebuild and 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 they grow and, and you know they start looking for top four football and you know potentially start challenging for trophies again. But I don't see that happening. Poor business. I don't think they want to play for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and I can see them finishing in eighth. From seventh to fifth, I've gone with Leicester, Chelsea, and Wolves in fifth place. So Leicester in 7th, I like their team, they've got a good young team, a good manager. James Madison, of course, an ex-Norris City player who, who's an absolute stunning player who I cannot believe is not in the England squad. But yeah, a good defence. Harry Maguire, I mean, if Harry Maguire goes to Manchester United at the time of recording, it is uncertain, then potentially you could swap them about. But they've got a good defence regardless. Ben Chilwell's a really good left-back. Midfield, Tealy Menz is a really good uh, deal. Someone in Manchester United probably should have been looking at. Uh, and then in attacking areas, Jamie Vardy, Brendan Rodgers seem to get the best out of him. Jose Perez is a good addition. And I like Leicester, and I think Brendan Rodgers is going to do good things at Leicester City. So I've gone them 7th, 6th, Chelsea. I think Frank Lampard will do a reasonably good job at Ch uh, Chelsea. I think he did OK. We did very well at, to get Derby into the playoff final, but with their, with their squad, that's probably meant to be expected. And he's, he's got some good players. I mean, of course, losing Eden Hazard is going to be a massive, massive blow. He's a quality player who can change a game with a snap of his fingers. But they've still got some good good players. They've got Pedro, Willian, who have done good in the Premier League before. Um, but in addition to that, they've got some great young players now coming through the ranks. Loftus-Cheek, Callum hudson Adoy, Mason Mount. I think Chelsea will do well next season, and I think they'll be in sixth place. And I put Wolves in fifth. And I think Wolves are going to be the next team to gate crash that top six. You've always had that stereo, stereotypical top six the last few seasons. I think Wolves are going to gate crush that now. Why? Because they've got a lot of money, haven't they? They've got a really good manager. They've got a very talented squad. I, I, I like what Wolves are doing. They've made some really good additions in the summer. They've been busy. They've been proactive. If you look at the last season as well, Wolves did have a really good record against the top six teams. Ironically enough, Huddersfield beat them twice. And I think Huddersfield only won four games, of course, getting relegated. But I like what Wolves are doing. And I do think... They could potentially challenge for Champions League football. They're going to be my surprise package alongside Leicester next season. Top four, fourth and third. I've got fourth in Arsenal and third in Tottenham. Arsenal, I've got them in fourth, but I look at their defence, the, the, the business they've done defensively. They haven't really signed anyone who, who's going to improve their defence, so I'm not sure. But I think Arsenal's attacking force with Aubameyang and Lacazette. They almost got top four last season. I think they're just going to crawl over the line and get into top four. Third, I've gone Tottenham. Tottenham have been able to retain their squad. They've got a really talented manager. Not good enough to challenge for the title, but I think they've certainly shown that they're good enough now for a top four finish. And now the top two, who have I gone to win the title? Manchester City to win the title and Liverpool to finish second. And I look at them and I, if you compare their best teams, I think their best teams are very even. However, why I think Man City will win the league over Liverpool is just simply because of squad depth. If you look at Manchester City, they've got, you know, on the wings, if you look, Raheem Sterling, uh, Leroy Sané, Bernardo Silva, uh, and Liverpool, you've only got Mane and Salah, and I just think if you take them out of the team, it significantly worsens. Um, and they haven't really got a repl ex a, an excellent centre-back replacement for Virgil van Dijk. And Man City have got so many midfield options. I just think Man City have got too much depth. And I think they will win the league more comfortably than they did last season. Um, I think Liverpool have put up a good fight, but I think Jurgen Klopp's style of football is suited for the Cups, and I can see Liverpool doing very, very well in the Champions League again. But Man City to win the league, Liverpool second. So this is the, is the Premier League table. 
Uh, let me know what you think about the predictions. Let me know what you think about Norwich City. Let me know what you think about the top four race and whether Wolves will be the surprise package next season. Um, cannot wait for the season to start now. Uh, Liverpool away. How exciting. Thank you for watching this video. There's going to be a lot more content on Norwich City Central, so please subscribe. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.